Hi, my name's Katie, it's ten past nine at night, I'm in the office by myself finishing off the late shift, and you're watching What I'm Doing Right Now. It's the last day. It's the last day of South by Southwest. You know what that means? It means there's a dog running through the neighborhood. Alright, last day. Last day of building experiences. I mean... <laughs> I don't think it's the last day we're building an experience. Or it's the last it's day, day we're, we're building the, the South by Southwest experience. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Today's only a half day, so the show closes at 2 o'clock, which means we've got three hours, Todd. Um, it's, uh, it's much more empty today, which I yeah. guess is to be expected. There's a, uh, a fake $100 bill on the floor that uh, Todd found and brought over and he was like, look, someone dropped a $100 bill. But it, uh, if you open it, it's, it's fake and it's an advertisement for things. So we put it back on the ground to see if anyone picks it up. Well, we've reached the end of the last day. I'm going to do the drawing because Todd is elsewhere. And uh, we get uh, Gerald E. Cook. Yay! Japan! That's the Japan guy. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, overall, it was a pretty pretty positive experience, I think. Uh, we made friends with the Black Magic people. That was really exciting. I talked with the Sound Devices guys over there. They were pretty nice. We, uh, we hung out with these people quite a bit. So, made a lot of good business connections. Uh, on top of all of the, uh, the business leads that we generated from talking to people. So we're just walking through the convention. Everybody seemed very impressed with the, uh, the marketing materials that we had. And we're already talking about coming back next year. So hopefully we can take things that we learned and be even more successful in 2019. All right, we broke everything down. It's all in here and I think we're ready to go. On a side note, it really smells like pizza in here. We did it. We, asked about where we did it. How does everybody feel about this experience? I'm, Outstanding. Yeah, I feel good and energized. I think uh, just meeting the, the people in the booths around us was, was real good. You got to hang out with Black Magic for a little bit. I know, I was fanboying the whole time. <laughs> I think the college students were probably the most inspirational piece to me because so many people are out there that want to do what we do and want to work at a place like cinema. Yeah, I was saying yesterday, I think it was, that I came here expecting a lot of the you know business leads, but it didn't occur to me that there would be people here who would see us and say, I want to work for you. That's right. We uh, look cool and professional, and we have a booth at South by Southwest, so you know people want to work for a, a cool, professional company. And I think we have a lot to be thankful about from Josh for helping us yeah. look very uh, hey, professional. Hey Josh, you're cool dude, I got you some sunglasses. <laughs> I'm trying to find a place to eat and uh, we came across the state capitol. Ted uh, Cruz has to eat somewhere. Absolutely. So there's eats, gotta be restaurants. He eats solely. We're in a parking structure and there's papyrus. <laughs> ah! <laughs> we are walking around downtown Austin. This is the first time that we've gotten a chance to take in the city, looking for a place to eat. It looks like we're jaywalking now. We're committing a crime. Toddly. I'm only doing it because you did it. Okay. So maybe, maybe I can find a bridge to jump off. You'll join me. This is the Driscoll Hotel. <clears throat> One How much day. do you think the rooms are? Uh, more than I want to pay, but <clears throat> one day I want to own an establishment like this and have my uh, my uh, painting, my portrait up on the, uh -huh. on the stairwell like that. Yeah. Look, Martha Morgan even likes it. Yeah. Todd. Yes, sir. The city of Austin has yes. done a terrible thing. Oh no. Papyrus. Oh no. <laughs> it's everywhere. Street. It's kind of like Beale Street in Memphis or uh, Bourbon Street in New Orleans. Oh yeah. 
TV in the moment, now let's go! Yeah! We can pay to go up right now next, we're out of here, we're W. Thank you guys for rocking with us. How does this street make you feel? I like it. I like it a whole lot. Why? Uh, I don't know. There's just so much vibrant people here, and I like it. I like being I like being around my kind of people. Would you like some weed candies? Nope. Tears of joy. Hot sauce <laughs> shop. Do you want me to put it on my tongue or? Not on your lips. Yeah. yeah just just kind of get it on your tongue there. I guess you have to wait. <laughs> now it's starting to kick in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> That extract. What that is extract. The extract. Oh, he's trying that extract. The source, yeah, the hundred dollars. It feels. I mean, it takes a good five minutes before it hits its peak, right? Yeah, forty-five seconds to a minute. It's gone. So. Wow. So I'm there. Getting close. You're thirty seconds in. <laughs> well, I ate acid earlier. So. <laughs> <laughs> This is the uh, Capitol building in Austin, Texas. And where? Austin. Oh, Austin. Okay. Wow, that's right. Now, spin in a circle. Todd, I found the Lone Star. It's up there. Oh, you're real funny. Oh, no smoking. Beards. It just looks like a bunch of clones. <laughs> I really like walking through buildings like this. Mm -hmm. You can feel the history. Do you think that whole street out there used to be just as wide as this little section here? past the gate and eventually they widened it. It just kind of feels like up until that gate it feels like a different era and then right at the gate and suddenly you're in the future. Yeah. Hey dude, what are you doing to that goat? What, what are you doing? Get ready to milk it. Why don't you leave that goat alone? I don't think he wants to go that way. Dude, this kid's harassing that goat. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, they're too busy looking that way. Oh, <laughs> oh. All right, we're done in Austin for the day. We're headed home. It's time to relax. There's uh, sirens on the other side of the freeway. It would say busted, but it was an ambulance. I don't have a saying for that. Oh no. Other than that, I guess, I hope, I hope someone is okay. We're going to be. Yeah. We're looking for a uh, supermarket place out in the middle of uh, a very small town. Michael, we found JD's yeah. supermarket. Yes, sir. Uh, Buds, can I tell you something? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm pretty darn tired right now. Oh. And uh, I want to get a pizza we can put in the oven. Uh, are those two related things? Nope. <laughs> those are two okay. fun packs. Okay. Well, here's JD's. This is a, a quaint little supermarket. I like it. I do like it. What do you think they have for frozen pizza, Buds? I don't know, Buds. We're driving back to the uh, Airbnb place, and there's this sign right here that says, no burn ban. And we're having an, an intense debate about whether that means we are or are not allowed to burn things I mean, in the yard. Is there a comma? I am of the opinion that if it says no burn ban, that means that there is no burn ban, which means that you can burn things. That's right, I'm on that, that side uh, of the argument as well. However, I think Nancy is on the side of, it says, no burn, bam, bam. <laughs> we just got back to the house. If you're wondering why I always have a shot of the truck driving up, it's because I have to get out to open the gate to let us in. Look at that sunset. You said it, dang. Oh, I was gonna be dang, that's a nice sunset. That's a nice sunset. You might be wondering, hey, didn't you just get back home? Well, you'd be right, but Todd said the magic word. Breakfast. <laughs> I love me some breakfast. So we're heading out.
to get some breakfast at 7.30 p.m. Woo! We have arrived at Bucky's. It's, uh... Interesting in here. It's like part gas station store, part grocery store, part restaurant. Look at the cheekbones on that guy. Apparently they don't have uh, breakfast right now. We got the beaver fever. I don't feel like they got his cheekbones right. Look at the picture. They're like super intense. Oh, that's a big one. So we have updates on the uh, stolen camera situation. We discovered that a detective has been assigned to the case and his name is Detective Blackman. So I Googled his name and found that uh, in 2014, he was suspended from the police force for two days because he violated uh, Civil Service Commission Rule 10.03 and uh, the, the specific acts committed by Detective Blackman in violation of Rule 10 are on December 5th, 2013, Detective Blackman failed to show up to work at his scheduled time. Dude was late for work. That, to me, is... I mean, we don't know if he was late. He may just not have shown up that day. But regardless... He was suspended. He was suspended. Here's the thing. <clears throat> when you were reading that off, before like it, it got to that, he just was didn't show up for work, whatever. I was expecting, like, oh, he got suspended because there was alcohol on his breath, or he was caught with a prostitute, or something ridiculous. Instead of just like, oh... He slept in. Next time uh, Josh or Halicia show up late for work, <laughs> tell them they're suspended for two days. <laughs> Helping the company get less work done will show them the way. <laughs> I wouldn't be that surprised if like, maybe he'd shown up to work a handful of times and they were like, dude, you gotta be at work on time. And so like, finally it was to the point where they were like, okay, you're getting suspended for two days without pay. Can I uh, tell you something? Yeah. That didn't even cross my mind. <laughs> so that seems like a, a very realistic and reasonable thing. Uh -huh. <laughs>